Hey guys, welcome to the video. You get to hear my voice this time. I was asked to do a shell challenge by Loser 2.0 and I accepted. That's why this video is up. So I'm just giving a 360 view of their shell challenge and then I'm getting into it, moving it, positioning it how I want it to be. And then I started with the roofing because I thought the roof is definitely going to be the stupidest to try and roof properly properly <laughs> I can't speak properly but um yeah I just got into the roof trying to find the right pieces and the right shape for the roof that I liked Now, um, what I'm doing here is I wanted to have it, the overhang on the roof because I like overhangs. And then I was trying to make the, the porch area one single room so that the overhang doesn't go into the room. But as soon as I put fences on, the overhang was back, so I had to get rid of them. And it actually turned out better for like the end result of my build because I ended up, well you'll see anyway, but I ended up putting like lattice on it as well. And then um, I wanted stone and wood paneling. So I have a white wood paneling on the top area and then I have stone and I actually do change the stone because I didn't end up liking it. And brown wood paneling on the bottom areas as well. And a base game only build as requested by Loser 2.0 because they're on console and they don't have a lot of packs and it, it's just easier for them to download and put it into their game. So there's no CC, there's no other packs, it's only base game which very very much limited what I like to put in my builds most of the time anyway because I have all but one pack which is the Star Wars pack that just came out because I'm not buying that shit. No. I'll I'll buy it when um when it's on sale. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do. It's the port uh, the patio. The portio. The patio is it's so big. So <laughs> trying to get this um to look somewhat okay was just hell for me. But I did get there in the end. So I was going to have like this big area that was, um, what do you call it? It, ha it has a roof. It has a roof. Roofed off. But I did end up, as you say, ended up deleting more than half of it. This roof gave me so many nightmares. And I actually, I think I did come back to it another time as well. I left it and then I tried to redo it again. And yeah, I had a hard time with this one. <laughs> I did end up leaving it like this. I did try and refix it again because I don't know if you saw that, but I could see where it was not resized again then um I forgot that you you couldn't that a part of the challenge was that you, you couldn't build on the grass they just wanted to have the port the patio area why do I keep just going to say portio the porch the the porch I think it's the porch that I want to say, but I don't end up saying that at all. Um, they just wanted it to be the patio, and I did go back and fix it before finalizing the upload. But at the moment, you're going to see that I I, I broke the rules slightly right here. <laughs> but I did I did fix it. And this was another thing, because because of the brown fencing, I changed all the colors of the columns to a matching wood brown. And then 
the gate that I wanted to use had white poles. So <laughs> I had to go back and re-recolor them back to a white. And then I'm just going around redoing a lot of things, making sure that all the places that I wanted spandrels have spandrels. And then I started on the lattice. So I have two wide um, diagonal lattice all over this area. And I actually quite like the outcome of it. It was really cool, but it was very tedious to go through and delete all these little things. Now, you might see me saving quite quite a bit because when I first tried to do this last night, actually, my my game crashed. So I was terrified that it was going to overload and crash again. And I have no idea why I did that the first time. So I was just saving after a little bit of everything that I did. And I'm just doing some... um painting so it's like a, a used pathway up to the house and I did end up going for a one bedroom residential which is usually most of my shell builds is houses then I um I abided by the triangle and the square room but I did do this instead of putting archways because I like these kind of archways better so that I slightly bent the rules <laughs> by doing this because technically I am removing, in quotation marks, removing walls, but they're actually there as spandrels instead. And then trying to figure out where I wanted this bloody staircase was hell on earth, but um, I ended up just having like a straight staircase up there because it was taking away quite a bit of um space so I just had it like straight up and just chucked it in there it's all of good I made it its own little hallway and I think that's where I left it for the night so yeah save and this is the new day so I made a little bathroom area there trying to figure out where I wanted you see I put spandrels up that end and then I go and light up the place because it was very dank and dark and lights fix everything when it's dank and dark. And then I really needed one door, well, one door on the inside, there's some um, three doors going outside, but that's another thing. Then um, carpeted the area, took the same wood from the outside, but had a lighter color to it for the inside. And I ha just have white tiles on the um, flooring in both the kitchen and the bathroom. And then down to find or to make a diagonal kitchen, which is always a fun thing to do. I do end up changing where that door is oh, right now, actually, apparently. Because um, I didn't like it being in the kitchen. It took away a lot of the space that I could have for the kitchen. Even though there was, there's, there's not really much space. It, just, it didn't fit the vibe of the kitchen that I wanted. And then I just go around and choose the wallpapers for every room. Which is really only three for the entire house. I chose a um, neutral brown tan for the main living area and a purpley blue for the bedroom. In, it's more blue than it is purple, but it does have some red undertones to it. And then I went and windowed the entire house. I'm pretty sure. Is that what I'm doing? No, I'm, I'm doing the little uh, reading nook. Okay. So as like you walk straight into the house, to the right is a little reading nook with just one chair. And then to the left is a get ready place. So there's like a few like hanging clothes, some shoes and a coat hanger. Oh, 
is it a coat rack is I think that's what it's actually called it's just like a little pole with this this thing little pole that you can like hang up your jackets on as soon as you walk in the door L and a chair so you can sit down and put your shoes on <clears throat> And I so really wanted to put a thermometer on the, on beside the door because I always do it in my builds, but it's a seasons thing, so I can't. And then there's all the window places placements. I put a door up there onto the patio upstairs. I do end up actually putting a staircase on the outside up to that area. As well, and then this is just the bathroom. It's all I actually like this bathroom. It's nice, it's clean, it's um cluttered a little bit. I I don't really put this much attention into bathrooms. I usually just put things down and done dusted. And I actually put a little bit more clutter than I usually do in these areas. Like I don't use these things. I don't use the um pile of clothes. Oh and this <laughs> I had to go in and see if they were um, floating, and they were floating, so I had to put them back down, and they are, they, they've they cut off like a little bit of the bottom, but at least it's like touching the bath's <laughs> bath at the moment. Oh, and then finding a bed that I liked that is base game, because I don't use any of the base game beds. I don't like them. They're, they're weird, so I just ended up with this one. Which is nice. I like the um the, the sheets. I like the color. And then trying to find, <laughs> trying to fit a lot of things up here was so hard. <laughs> so I do end up changing the dresser, and I put in a desk and an easel. And I think that's all, because <laughs> there's really not much room up here at all. Oh, and I gave him a laptop instead of an actual like desktop computer because I was like students like young adults like don't have enough money even though this is like a 78,000 simoleon build but that that's besides the point so yeah I'm pretty sure that's all I did with the bedroom yeah so now I'm going down to the the TV area, the uh, chill the chill out place, and then I um I don't I have no idea if this radio is usable. I'm pretty sure it should be because they use it with a remote, but it is not clipped onto the um bench. It's just free placed there. And then I wanted a chess table, and I did actually end up having a chess table behind these the um the settee there, but I couldn't find it, and I have no idea why. I think I was looking in the wrong place. Oh, I I I just did this build, and I forget that I put a fireplace in this area. I had no idea what to do for that little space, so I was just like, hmm, fireplace. So, yeah, is um chess tables are in like the easel area and I was in the games area because to me chess is a game and it should be in the, the games area but it's a skill building item so it's in the easel with this oh, all the other skill building items and then I think I go to the outside yeah I put in a pool because I wanted a pool because the the, the patio is huge it is huge so huge and Thank fuck now we have um, base game la laying chairs. I forget what they're called. I swear English is my first language. I swear. I'm just not that good at it. But um, I have like an outdoor cooking slash like party area. I put in a like little seating area here that seats nine sims, which is, which is a lot of sims for a party but then again it's a party so they they can sit there and they can chat and they can barbecue and they can drink because I put it in the base game bar not that bar but a base game bar <laughs> I have no idea what to do with 
that hallway. So I just left it blank. Because <laughs> I had no idea what the fuck to put there. <laughs> oh. I know what I could put there. I mean, I can't do it at the moment now, but I should have put the um the gardening things over that end instead of in the um the grassland <laughs> that I wasn't supposed to use. But, yep. I'm 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 just a a little slow and a little stupid. And I, I put lights everywhere as well. And I had to delete a lot of the lights because I put them in the grass area where I wasn't supposed to build. It, it looks so good though. <laughs> but I had to go and I'll redo that. So I was within the parameters of the, the challenge. Like this, this. I could put this up in that little hallway there. But no. No, I didn't think of that. And then I just go around, put in a little bit more decorations. And then I called it a day. I think, or a night. I tried to find the like little fairy lights, but I think they're um from a different pack, so I couldn't find them. But that's okay. Oh, I had no idea what to put on this top patio or balcony. I found the chess table, by the way. So I just put in some fitness stuff. I put in some... <laughs> that goddamn hot tub. It's so huge. But I, I put in a fitness, fitness item. I put in two benches. And then I put in a staircase. So all of this, I'm pretty sure, is usable. And Sims can walk around the entire house. I don't think I did anything that was very like inconvenient to sims pathfinding so it should be fine so you see me um put it up on the gallery here and it's still got the backyard which isn't allowed but i do have me going back and changing it as well and i think at this point i got up their video uh loser sim loser 2.0's video um, to see like the parameters of the challenge and if I was actually abiding by the challenge rules and that I had the uh, right hashtags and I found out that I wasn't allowed to have a backyard so I went back and changed that after I uploaded this bit So here is the actual finalized version of the house. It's very much similar, but I just um, got rid of the backyard and fenced off the pool area of the patio instead and then re-uploaded and over it what I had done beforehand. But at least now I'm not breaking the rules, I'm just slightly bending them with the spandrels inside the house. So here it is cute little quaint house it's um marked it's up on my gallery and now i have a challenge for loser sims loser 2.0 i don't know why i go to say loser sims it's loser 2.0 i have a shell challenge of my own that is quite old but it's on my gallery code of mystery and if the gallery loads then we can we can we can look at yep okay so down here and there it is the large shell challenge so this is actually taken from real architecture that i found and i actually put it in brightchester so it's in the university and this is what i came up with this is the grindled library and I'm pretty sure it's already up on my channel. If not, it will be soon. So these are all the things. Uh, the first floor. The second floor. The little hallway. 
and the top floor with the study rooms. So that's what I created with the shell challenge. And I want to see what you create with the shell challenge. If you're up for it, you don't have to do it. But yeah, thank you.